Reuters. Zero and liftoff of the Delta II rocket with Phoenix. It's taken nine months for NASA's new Phoenix probe to travel the 170 million miles to Mars. That's nothing to the brief but nail-biting drop to the surface which will decide if the mission goes on or ends instantly in a heap of mangled wreckage. The Phoenix will plunge through the thin atmosphere, slowing itself from 12,000 miles an hour to zero in just seven minutes by parachute and then thruster. The scientists are hoping for a gentle touchdown on the Mars equivalent of northern Alaska. That's the theory. The facts are devastatingly different. If you think about the set of international Mars missions that has tried to land on Mars, more than 50% of them have failed. The Phoenix is following up the findings of the Odyssey probe, which found ice surrounding the polar caps in 2002. What Phoenix is all about is understanding that discovery that Odyssey has made. We're landing on ice. Second, is there a habitable zone associated with the water areas on Mars? That is the, the business of the Phoenix mission, is to make that assessment. And third, and for future missions, not Phoenix, is this habitable zone actually inhabited? The tricky landing isn't the only problem Phoenix faces on Sunday. If it survives that journey, it has just over 30 hours to deploy its solar power panels or suffer the ignominious fate of flat batteries. Paul Chapman, Reuters.